What's good, YouTube? Sensational Sincere here, back with another Tom Clancy's The Division Vendor Reset video. We're here for September 6, 2019's reset. So let's get right into this video and see what we got good for this week. Okay, so for our first gear items, we're going to head over to the base of operations. And here, the weapons vendor at the front has a nice little Super 90 with a gear score of 264. It has 331% stagger. And the talents it has is self-preserved, ferocious, and destructive for some PvE missions. For our next gear items, we're still at the base operations. Head over to the advanced weaponry vendor. And here we got an MP7 with a gear score of 260, I'm sorry, 274. It has 22.50% crit hit chance. And the talents it has is adept, responsive, and predatory. And then also here we got a custom P416G3 with a gear score of 267. It has 21% enemy armor damage, and the talents it has is sustained, vicious, and adept. For our next gear items, we want to head over to the special equipment vendor. We're still at the base operations, and here we have a liberator with a gear score of 273. It has 20% enemy armor damage, and the talents it has is fierce, ferocious, and talented. Also here we have a historian marksman rifle with a gear score of 268. It has 163% headshot damage, and the talents it has is prepared, deadly, and you already know the third talent for the historian. Also here we got an AUG A3 Para XS uh, with a gear score of 261. It has 19.50% crit hit chance, and the talents it has is unforgiven, destructive, and ferocious. Also here we have a military G36 with a gear score of 268. It has 19% enemy armor damage and the talents it has is vicious, self-preserved, and focused. Also here we have a spec ops mask with the talent tenacious on there with a gear score of 268. It has 888 armor and it's rolled for electronics 1176 and the attributes it has is crit hit chance and increased kill XP. Also here we have a operator pack with the talent relentless on there. It has a gear score of 273. It has 1315 armor. It's roll for stamina 1146 and attributes it has is health and bleed resistance. Also here we have a prototype performance mod with 6% first aid self heal. Also here we have a heavy magazine spring with 12% magazine size, 4% crit hit damage and 9.90% rate of fire. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to the cavern. And here we got a prototype electronics mod with 261 electronics and 3090 skill power. For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to Kerman Station. And here the weapons vendor has a G36C with a gear score of 266. It has 18% enemy armor damage. And the talents it has is determined, competent, and focused. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to Camp Clinton. And here at the special equipment vendor, we have another G36C with a gear score of 280. It has 23% enemy armor damage. And the talents this one has is sustained, competent, and focused. Yeah, yeah. And then also here we have a Black Market SAS G12S with a gear score of 276. It has 331.50% stagger. And the talents this has is brutal, fierce, and vicious. And also here we got an MG5 with a gear score of 279. It has 22% damage to targets out of cover. And the talents this one has is ferocious, swift, and unforgiven. Also here we have a prototype performance mod with 7% seeker mind explosion radius. Also here we have a SR7 suppressor with 19% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 6% headshot damage. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to Wolf's Den. In here, the weapons vendor has a military RPK-74M with a gear score of 280. It has 19% damage to targets out of cover, and the talents it has is vicious, adept, and capable. For our next gear items, you want to head to Autumn's Hope. In here, the gear vendor has a prototype performance mod with 3.50% sticky bomb damage. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to Madison's stand. And here the gear vendor has a tactical mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 271. It has 985 armor. It's roll for stamina 1141. 
and the attributes it has is crit hit chance and damage to elites. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the last call. And here, the weapons vendor has an enhanced PP19 with a gear score of 276. It has 22% crit hit chance, and the talents it has is deadly, fierce, and hurry. For our next gear items, you want to head over to the grind house. And here, the weapons vendor has a tactical AUG A3P with a gear score of 257. It has 18.50% crit hit chance, and the talents it has is accurate, fierce, and vicious. And then also here we got a heavy magazine spring with 5% reload speed, 4% crit hit damage, and 9.90% rate of fire. For our next gear items, we want to head over to West 31st Street checkpoint. And here the Dark Zone vendor has a military M870 with a gear score of 267. It has 321% stagger. And the talents it has is vicious, accurate, and fierce. And then also here we have a tactical vest with the talent uh, reckless on there with a gear score of 275 it has 1817 armor this roll for firearms 1268 and the attributes it has is all resistance health and ammo capacity for our next gear items you're going to head over to west 34th street checkpoint in the dark zone and here the dark zone vendor has a tactical sasg 12k with a gear score of 283 it has 344.50 stagger and the talents it has is ferocious, swift, and responsive. And also here we have a small red grip with 19% crit hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 4.50% reload speed. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 42nd Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has a classic AK-47 with a gear score of 269. It has 23% enemy armor damage. And the talents it has is sustained, unforgiven, and prepared. And then also here we have a prototype firearms mod with 262 firearms and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. And then also here we got an Omega Rifle Suppressor Tan with 18% headshot damage, 3% crit hit chance, and 2% accuracy. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to West 53rd Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has an ACR with a gear score of 284. It has 23% enemy armor damage, and the talents it has is ferocious, sustained, and competent. And then also here we have a Spec Ops mask with the talent refreshed on there, with a gear score of 269. It has 864 armor, and it's rolled for stamina, 1195. Uh, and the attributes it has is exotic damage resilience and increased kill XP. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 64th Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here, the Dark Zone gear mod vendor has a prototype performance mod. Attention, supply drops detected. Sticky bomb explosion radius. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 61st Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here, the Dark Zone weapon mod vendor has a, an extended magazine with 114% magazine size, 3% crit hit chance, and 5.30% rate of fire. And then also here we have a large suppressor FDE with 18% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 2.50% stability. For our next gear item, we're going to head over to East 58th Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone gear vendor has an operator mask with the talent refreshed on there. It has a gear score of 267. It has 886 armor. It's for for electronics, 1131. And the attributes it has is all resistance and damage to elites. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to Park Ave checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone weapons vendor has a classic RPK-74 with a gear score of 269. It has 19% damage to targets out of cover. And the talents it has is prepared, fierce, and competent. For our next gear items, we're going to head over to East 53rd Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has an extended magazine with 115% magazine size, 2.50% crit hit chance, and 4% crit hit damage. For our next gear items, we want to head over to East 40th Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. And here the Dark Zone vendor has a tactical mask with the talent Tenacious on there. It has a gear score of 277. It has 982 armor, and it's rolled for firearms, 1162 and the attributes it has is all resistance and blind death resistance. 
For our next gear items, we're gonna head over to East 31st Street checkpoint in the dark zone. And here the dark zone bender has a custom M44 with a gear score of 271. It has 168 headshot damage. And the talents it has is prepared, adept, and harmful. Also here we have some spec op gloves with the talent savage on there with a gear score of 270. It has 910 armor. It's roll for electronics, 1205. And the attributes we have here is crit hit damage, LMG damage, and pistol damage. For our next gear items, we want to head over to 5th Ave checkpoint in the dark zone. And here the dark zone vendor has a tactical AUG A3P with a gear score of 275. It has 22% crit hit chance, and the talents it has is fierce, responsive, and deadly. And also here we got some tactical gloves here with the talent savaged on there with a gear score of 272. It has 917 armor. It's roll for firearms, 1179. And the attributes we have on these is uh, assault rifle damage, enemy armor damage, and pistol damage. For our next gear items, you want to head to DZ2 safe room. And here the Dark Zone gear vendor has a tactical pack with the talent Inventive on there with a gear score of 270. It has 1183 armor, it's roll for stamina 1225, and the attributes it has is health and disrupt resistance. For our next gear items, we want to head over to DZ4 safe room. And here the Dark Zone gear mod vendor has a prototype stamina mod with 266 stamina and 1% crit hit chance. For our next gear items, we want to head over to DZ8 safe room. And here the Dark Zone gear vendor has an operator mask with the talent refreshed on there. This one has a gear score of 276. It has 882 armor. It's roll for firearms, 1256. And the attributes it has is all resistance and increased kill XP. Also here we have a spec ops armor with the talent rapid on there. It has a gear score of 278. It has 1910 armor. It's roll for firearms, 1247 and the attributes it has is health, skill haste, and ammo capacity. And then also here we have a spec ops pack with the talent inventive on there. It has a gear score of 261. It has 1204 armor. It's rolled for firearms, 1137. And the attributes it has is crit hit damage and burn resistance. And then also here we have some spec ops gloves with the talent savaged on there with a gear score of 274. It has 981 armor. It's roll for stamina, 1225, and the attributes it has is marksman rifle damage, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance. All right, everybody, that's it for our Tom Clancy, The Division Vendor Reset video for September 6, 2019. Um, I hope this video was able to help anybody get some gear that they needed. I wish it could have been better gear for this week, but unfortunately it's not. Um, so... Hit that like button if you hadn't. Sub if you hadn't. I appreciate that support. Thank you. And I will see y'all with the next video, everybody. Take care. Peace.